Now, here's a phenomenon that I, I'm not sure any, it's been recorded before. Uh, this may be <laughs> entirely new to science, I really don't know, but I just had this electric field meter with me and I thought I would just, because I've never done it before, put it close to bees in a swarm just to see what happens. I, I'm not getting a reading on the other scales. There's, there's various scales on here. There's one for magnetic field, one for um, radio um, frequencies, but this is an electric field meter and I'm getting some pretty strong readings. The scale is in um, electric fields measured in volts per meter and the scale at the top is the one that's relevant and to get the actual reading we, we multiply that scale by 10. So a full scale deflection you know is a significant is a significant reading and I'm getting it well intermittently wherever I wherever I put the meter it has to be close to the bees or, or touching them just now this is interesting um, I've got the field meter again uh, it's upside you, you know you're looking at it upside down now but that's just be where I've got the camera held but you can see putting it close to this area here where the bees are fanning We're getting quite significant fluctuations, quite significant measurements of electrical field and fluctuating quite significantly too. So that sort of suggests that when bees are fanning, they're also generating an electric field or something like that. And this needs a lot more you know, careful research, obviously, to, to figure out what's, what's really going on. But there's definitely something going on here. Yeah, this is quite a sensitive meter. Um, as I say, the scale is logarithmic, so the full-scale deflection is, you know, massively greater than a than a, than a small flicker. Um, but there's quite uh, significant amounts of electrical field being generated. Okay, that's enough science for now.